All right, welcome back in. Uh, we are back with a new creations. This is, in my opinion, how it should be done. Uh, that's not specifically a dig on uh, Bethesda, but kind of is. So this is the Crimson Fleet got, uh, set. There are seven different habs and a cockpit, all themed for Crimson Fleet. This is by Eleonora. Uh, fun tip, she worked with Bethesda on Starfield. She built some of the habs before. So uh, once you see the interior, you, you'll understand uh, that she's a hab builder. She's a ship builder. I'm going to put timestamps below for each of them, and I'm going to put the uh, hab tags. Uh, be just fine. Um, they're they're not as detailed as some of the regular hab tags are, but that it'll work just fine. Also, I did my best to find the one spot that I could go into these where it didn't nuke too much of the interior because her interiors are amazing. Like, this is amazing. And by the way, this is only five bucks. So, five bucks, you get seven habs and a cockpit, all themed the same. And when you see the interior, you're going to be like, did Bethesda even try with the other one? So, uh, let's show you. By the way, these are pretty inexpensive um, when you buy them. You cannot do this at your outpost. You have to go to the key if you are friends with Crimson Fleet. If you are not friends with Crimson Fleet, you have to go to Porima and go to the Red Mile. The main storyline quest will take you to the Red Mile, so you should know where it is, and talk to Lon in his cheery disposition. But uh, let's go take a look. I have my little cheat sheet with me to tell me where, which hab I'm in at which time, so hopefully I don't mess it up, but the tags will be on there anyway. We are going to start this way right here. Once again, I did the best I could to get into these without messing them up too much. I am also not going to run my flashlight. This is the lighting scheme the way it should be. She actually fixed these to be as much looking like the key as humanly possible. So we are in the captain's quarter. This is a two by one. There are not many places you can come into these and have it actually function. If I remember right, this galley works. I saw her hover over it. Maybe it's not this one that I saw. You do have a computer. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, she did say also that these will clutter themselves up even more as time goes. So a couple of in-game days and they'll clutter up. Got your head. Door works. Unlike the missing doors in uh, somebody's habs. I love these signs. I love them so much. This unit does not have a heck of a lot of uh, storage in it. Some of the other ones have a whole heap and lot of storage. So she said in her video the mission board works. It doesn't work for me. I mean, it comes up, but I don't get anything, and I'm part of the Crimson Fleet, so... I don't know about that. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, so let's go up into the one by one armory. Very cool little jobby indeed. There is nowhere you're coming into this without causing problems other than this ladder. I mean, there, there's nothing. There's no side that isn't going to lose something cool, like the cool Crimson Fleet sign. These, well, these are non, -fun non functional. But man, look at all these cases. I mean, there's just so, so much in this. Uh, this will populate. There uh, will be spacesuits down there, Crimson Fleet spacesuits. They're just, you know, I just did all this as quickly as I could get it all done to showcase to you guys. Well, there's something that's already populated. 
Alright. Let's continue on with this tour. So we are moving over to... Oh, by the way, the 1x1 one one armory adds 400 cargo to your ship. I missed. Very tight quarters here. This is the Tech Core. Very cool indeed. Computer do anything? Computer doesn't do anything. Alright. No wonder. No worries. This would be a wall that I'd say I, I could see people sacrificing that wall. Coming up through that ladder sucks in this unit. And if you put a ladder here, you lose your nav console. Uh, if you don't care about the nav console there, then sure. Next is the cockpit. This is based off of the Armstrong. Love the little little touches and details and the lighting scheme. It's all really cool. And it really represents the key well. Alright, let's go over to the two by one mess hall. That should be this one. So this door here nukes uh like a shelving unit. It's not that great, but there there's just no other way I can come into this. Awesome pool table. She tried her best to represent the bar that's in the... Oh, it was this... Uh, okay, so it's this galley that's functional. Did her best to represent the bar inside the key. And once again, this will populate with a bunch of small clutter things as you've had it on your ship for a few in-game days. <laughs> she called this the gamer station. You know, dual monitors. And once it all populates with stuff, there's like an energy drink up here and stuff. I'm going to link that video below for everybody to see. Alright, this should be pushing us up to the 2x1 workshop. Tight, tight quarters. A little bit of stuff in here, alright. Starting to populate. No easy way to get into here without losing stuff. This one might be fine coming to this end. Tables all work, or benches, I should say. And you have them all. Oh, yeah, and then there's this. Unlimited for this one. So here in the workshop, you get an unlimited storage box, which is awesome. This thing will populate with a bunch of clutter at some point. Very, very cool indeed. Now let's go to a one by one store room. This adds 700 cargo to your ship of with this one by one store room. I for some reason I really love these paintings. These framed work. I don't just yeah, something weird. And that sign, love it.
All right, so the very last thing is a three by one crew quarters. Now, th there was nowhere to come in for this. Even when I came in here, it messed it up. Uh, there's a weight bench here that goes into uh, like a, a storage wall. I, I did the best I could. It's just, it, this thing is so detailed and there's so much stuff. I just couldn't figure out a way to get into this thing without nuking stuff. Because I did try with a ladder and it didn't work. Still dropped it. I think this is really cool. She even mentioned it doesn't really work as cold storage, but it looks like it does. And it does look like it does. And I think it's cool. I agree with her. It's very cool. Another galley. I really... I love this little... uh bar right here. That's cool. Got yourself a good fridge. Cora doing her let me creep everybody out pose. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Is that show it? Yep. Okay, beds work. Got another head maybe? Yep, got another head. Cool. I love how it's just kind of junk in a corner. Because, I mean, that's exactly what it would be. Ahoy, Captain. Big TV that's broken. Your ship is way bigger than that. Alright, let me show you the locations. So, if you're already part of the Crimson Fleet, you already know where you're going. So it's Crix, the Key. So that's one of the spots where you can get these from. Second, if you are not part of the Crimson Fleet, Porima, Porima 3, the Red Mile. And then you're going to talk to Lon, he's inside just to the right when you go down the corridor. And that is where you can get Be Your uh, Best Pirate. Fantastic set. This is the discussions we've been having about uh, with the um, Ancient Mariner. How people are like, well, I mean, if it included all the different habs in a cockpit, you know, so you had this whole thing, you could, and it didn't just stand out as just one unit that was different from everybody else because it's a woody. They'd be like, yeah, it might be worth it, but maybe it's worth less, more like five bucks. And then she comes out with this for five bucks, seven modules. Habs, excuse me, and a cockpit, beautifully designed, uh, themed just like the key with the lighting and everything. She said she did her best to make it look just like the key with the lights. This, this is how you do um, paid mods. I had no problem paying five dollars for this. I really didn't like spending ten dollars on the Ancient Mariner one. I. I did it so I could showcase to people so they could make up their own minds whether it was worth it to them. And, I mean, it's not like I'm not going to use some of those decorations now that I own it, but this is what I like. And hopefully more themed will come out. I'd love to see a luxury liner, the... What is it called? Star liner or something like that? Uh, that we never, we've never seen in the game uh, because I don't know what's going on. I mean, we get... There's one mission where you go onto this huge like battleship size one where they're having a party but other than that where are those ships where are those modules and habs and stuff so pretty cool check it out if you want to check it out links will be below to go to her thing and also go to the steam page where you can uh, buy this if you choose to have a good one